Richmond County State Representative has introduced a bill to help residents in rural North Carolina gain better access to broadband internet service. Representative Ben Moss on Wednesday introduced the North Carolina Broadband Consumer Protection Act. According to the legislative finding section of the bill, the General Assembly finds that access to high-speed broadband service is a necessity and is essential to participation in the economy, education, and civic life. The bill would repeal a subsection of General Statute 62-2 and would amend Article 17 of Chapter 62 in the General Statutes to define broadband and broadband service provider, as well as give the Public Utilities Commission oversight of statewide broadband ser services. Moss said in a statement during the COVID-19 pandemic, broadband has taken on an unparalleled importance in the lives of all North Carolinians. Last month, the Carolina Journal reported that 5% of the 40,000 state residents who responded to the North Carolina Broadband Survey said they had no internet access at home. The survey also reportedly found that 39% of respondents said they have adequate broadband speeds, and 18% said they pay more than $125 per month for service, though that could include bundled services. Scotland Health is now opening their vaccines to everyone over the age of 18 starting today. Since December 15th, Scotland Health says they have successfully administered over 10,000 Moderna vaccinations to staff and throughout local communities. The governor's plan for the state of North Carolina to open eligibility to everyone on April 7th. Over the last two months, Scotland Health supply of vaccines appointments have been greater than the demand for vaccinations. In order to quickly vaccinate the largest number of people in their community, they have decided to move forward. Appointments are required and can be made by calling 910-291-7654 Monday through Friday between the hours of 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Scotland Health currently holds drive through vaccination clinics twice a week on the Scotland Memorial Campus. The location of Tuesday's third SAC golf match may have changed from the previous two, but the Richmond Raider and Lady Raider golf teams remain consistent in their final placements. After playing the first two matches of the spring at Pinehurst No. 6, the SAC teams shifted their focus to Pinehurst No. 7, and Richmond's teams battled the par 36 front nine holes. For the third consecutive match, the Lady Raiders placed third overall out of four qualifying teams while also shooting a team best score of 241. The top four scores were used to calculate the total, which was a stroke better than the team score in week one. Just ahead of Richmond was Scotland, and Pinecrest earned its third straight victory with a team tally of 181. The Lady Raiders bested Lumberton by seven strokes. In the boys' competition, the Raiders took a small step back from last week's second match, but persevered and managed to earn a tie for second place with Jack Britt. The Raiders and Buccaneers both shot team scores of 203, 56 strokes behind Pinecrest, which also took its third win of the season. Richmond's efforts down the stretch proved beneficial as Scotland and Lumberton both finished tied for third, just one stroke behind the Raiders, and Jack Ritt with a score of 204. Pernell Sweat took fourth, and Hope County placed fifth. Through three matches, the boys stand alone in second place with 18.5 points, a point ahead of Scotland. The girls are in third with 18 points, just one point in front of Lumberton. After Hamlet's 36-0 victory over Cordova in last week's season opener, Red Ram head coach John Ware was asked if his guys could stand up to the adversity of playing on rival Rockingham's home field in Week 2. He responded by saying whatever the situation they are put in, he thinks his boys can get the job done. Way's red and black clad Rams exceeded all expectations by dominating all three facets of the game to blank their rivals 34-0 on the road. Hamlet used its defense and special teams to win the field position battle and set its offense up for success. Hamlet's average starting position was the Rockingham 38-yard line, while the Rockets started an average of 66 yards away from the end zone per possession. Hamlet kicker Billy West executed a variety of different kicking styles to keep the Rockets guessing, and the coverage team never allowed the Rockets to reach midfield. Defensively, the Red Rams limited the Rockets to just 32 total offensive yards in the game, negative 5 in the first half. With the win, the Red Rams will now be idle for 22 days until the county championship game on April 21st, which will be played at Raider Stadium. Rockingham will travel to Cordova on April 14th, and the winner of that game will meet Hamlet in the championship game.
When we return, we've got your Live at Five weather report is coming up after the break, so stay tuned. Hometown heroes? Well, maybe. When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today. You were always more than my mom. You were my role model, my best friend, and biggest supporter. You filled my days with unconditional love. And you also prepared for the day when you couldn't be here. Because of the woman you were back then, I'm able to be the woman I am now. Your planning made this moment possible. Set your family up for life. Southern Farm Bureau Life Insurance. Your friends for life. JC's in Rockingham has you covered for used appliances, parts, trailers, and storage. We have one of the largest selections of reconditioned washers, dryers, and refrigerators in the Sand Hills, and we offer free delivery to residents inside Richmond County. Come check out our variety of trailers for any hauling job and our storage buildings for the things you need out of the weather or house. We also carry parts and accessories for appliances, trailers, truck beds, and can order the things you need. That's JC's on South Hancock Street in Rockingham. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. Your Alive at Five weather report is brought to you by Sunset Slush, classic Italian ice located here in downtown Rockingham. Happy Thursday, everybody. Happy April for everyone out there today as we're entering a new month. Also entering with some new high temperatures coming up here very, very soon throughout the week. Uh, we'll get to that here in just a moment, but talking about today, which has been a lot more colder than what we've been seeing for the last week or so. Uh, temperatures getting pretty chilly today, getting into the 40s this evening, uh, 6 o'clock, 52 degrees, 10 o'clock, 41. Haven't really seen anything get over into the 60s too much today. Uh, it's been really low, really low before that, uh, below that. So uh, today has been really cold and we're still expecting cold weather to continue on tomorrow. Uh, we'll be seeing temperatures staying down into the low 50s as well as the low 30s for the low. So we'll be keeping an eye on that for tomorrow. Very, very cold. Make sure you get your jacket. Fayetteville, a high of 50, low of 32. Rayford high of 50, low of 31. Down in Robeson County, a high of 50 and the low of 32 there. Over in Scotland County, a high of 52 and the low of 33, with Moore County seeing a high of 49 and the low of 29. The good news is tomorrow is that there is plenty of sunshine, just like we saw today. Uh, LRB, a high of 50, low of 29. Rockingham and Hamlet, high of 51, low of 30. Down in Venezuela, South Carolina, a high of 52 and the low of 33, with Waysboro seeing a high of 51 and the low of 32. Now, it's talking about the uh, Temperatures ahead for the next seven days. Uh, of course, Friday, we got to get through that day with the low of 30 and a high of 51. Um, sun and skies continue on throughout the weekend as temperatures are still relatively a little bit lower than what we like to see. High of 58, low of 34 for Saturday. They jump up a little bit more on Sunday with a high of 69 and a low of 44. And then we get back into the 70s on Monday with a high of 75 and a low of 48. Looking at Tuesday, another sunny sky day. High of 79, low of 55, and it continues on up from there, getting into the 80s for Wednesday. High of 82, low of 59, followed by Thursday with a high of 81 and a low of 62, with a 40% chance of showers. 
the only chance of rain on this forecast for the next seven days it's looking pretty solid of course got to deal with the cold temperatures uh first before we get to the good stuff uh, also got hopefully got a, a little bit of rain it would be not will be nice to get a little bit of rain giving the pollen has been out and about pretty heavily recently rain at this time of year is very very good to have to wash that away and hopefully keep the allergies going down uh, for everyone out there. But that's going to do it for the Live at 5 weather report and for tonight's edition of Live at 5. Of course, for the latest news, sports, and events happening in Richmond County, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or you can download the free R app for your mobile devices. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Ross Parker. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Richmond County.